Hey, hey, so recently I did a video on this thing. This is a wallet made from Mylar, which is metalized film. It's a plastic film that has actual metal, in this case, aluminium, on its surface. Very, very thinly, but still real metal. And in the comments of that video, which you can see here, uh, so many people asked, does it stop? RFID. Now, RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, and it's what's used by bank cards to make contactless payments over a communication method which is called NFC, or Near Field Communication. So, the thought process here is, can this thin, this thin metal layer block RFID and stop your card being scanned and identified? And that's important because people are scared of their cards being skimmed. So that's a, that's a legitimate fear. So we were in McDonald's recently here in Australia and it was amazing because it was completely empty because of the recent uh, virus scare. I was the only person in there. So I thought, what a great time to test that theory. So I put just one card in the wallet and this is what happened. Now, we can't say for sure definitively that if you make a wallet from mylar material, this one in particular was made from the bladder of a wine cask material. Uh, again, I go into it in the video. But from my limited testing, yes, I couldn't get any identification with that single card in this wallet. I had to take it out and pay with it to actually make the, the process go through. Now, this is just one pay point, but it's a very common pay point that I've seen all around the place that didn't work, but other ones might. And I just found this out. So essentially because people aren't wanting to touch things, uh, they're planning to possibly increase the limit of contactless card transactions to $250, at least here in Australia, $250 Australian, uh, which is more than double what it currently is set at, which in my opinion will definitely pose a big th threat to people committing fraud and skimming cards and having their cards charged against their knowledge up to $250 if someone somehow gets hold of it or goes near them with a scanner. So maybe you should have a wallet with some sort of RFID protection. But there you go. That answers the question that many of you are asking. Yes, in at least some circumstances, a wallet made from mylar metalized film style material with a thin coat of aluminium on plastic can stop RFID communications. So yeah, there you go guys. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys. Bye.